this here is the box of the cleared out purple hearts and I'm going through them and trashing any ugly ripped up ones and getting the good ones ready for repotting there's bugs on me but thought I'd visit with y'all while I do this I'm cleaning up my purple hearts and all you do is you find a good one that you can pot if the little stem is dry snap it till you get a wet one and then literally stick it in the dirt there's no prepping of the dirt nothing like that you just stick these suckers in the dirt I already have a pot over there that I put them in simplest things to regrow perfectly good stem I remove the last little leaves on the bottom and give a wet stem to plant it's like snapping peas with your grandma I don't like that one it's kind of gross yep that's what it reminds me of snapping peas but uh, I have been out here for a little while it's about a hundred degrees yesterday turns out I thought it had just gotten to a hundred and five yesterday turns out we had gotten to 106. Snap at the growth thingy. I don't know much about much, but I know plenty about purple hearts. It's the only things I don't kill. But anywho, yeah, yesterday the high around these parts was 106, and then we had that thunderstorm uh, last night, and that kind of went on for a little while. So uh, now it's like super humid. I had come out here earlier and I couldn't hang, so I went in. I've drank like a gallon of orange juice, almost a gallon of orange juice. Um, just staying thirsty. I mean, I've drank water too, but it's so sticky and gross. But uh, I waited until the sun is practically setting to come out here. And uh, I just wanted to get a few of these planted or at least ready. That way tomorrow I just dump in some soil and go for it. But I'm probably going to end up throwing a lot of these away because I'm over it. I have enough of them around where I think it's made my yard pretty. I have them in pots and things like that. These are real good pot plants. Ooh, that didn't sound right. Y'all know what I mean. These are good pots. These are good plants for pots. Look how wild they grow. Look how long and wild they grow. This is why they're so invasive. They'll take over your yard, your walkways. So if you ever want them and plant them, just be aware. These suckers will take over. But they do real well in a pot. They grow a little wild, so they grow out of the pot, and it looks really pretty. But anywho, I'm about to go polish my silver or attempt to. I already got everything outside, the paper towels and the gloves, because that stuff burns. Uh, if these skeeters let me do anything out here, then that's what I'm going to do. But I just wanted to say hi. Hope y'all Sunday is going good. And uh, I'll see y'all in the front. So these are the ones that are nice and plucked. And I've gone ahead and sat in the rainwater that went into my fire pit. I'm going to leave them soaking in there until tomorrow when I come out here and actually plant them. These mosquitoes are killing me back here. I'm hoping they're not as bad in the front. But... That's what I'm going to replant. And this is what I planted in this little pot from the bins. Uh, I used my, my plant dyed soil in here. And they're so resilient and strong. You could plant them in water. You can plant them in anything. And they're going to grow. So I just need to find a home for this. And let's get to the front and see if I can clean up this silver. It is hot and I feel little bugs flying on me. But I want to get this done. Okay. Do y'all remember I thrifted this sterling silver piece at Thrift Town? It was as black and tarnished as this, and now look. And I got it to this by using this, but this stinks super bad. I mean, it's been sitting out here for a few minutes in the sun, and I can smell it coming out of the, uh, the tub. It's that potent, it's that stinky, and I forgot the paper towels, hang on. Okay, my plan, because these pieces are kind of big, is to dunk a paper towel in the solution and wrap it. So we'll see, but first, 
I'm gonna go ahead and try, this is a jewelry cleaner, it has a basket for your jewelry. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk this since it's small enough to dunk and see if it comes out clean. So we're supposed to set it in there. And swoosh, ugh, I can feel it flying on me. And swoosh around. And this is for sterling silver only, but if it's sterling silver plated, get off of me. It's the same thing, right? Well, be danged. Look at that. I guess this is silver plated or sterling. So you swirl it around for 10 seconds. Now I'm going to flip it upside down and dunk the piece that I didn't get to clean. I feel so nasty. And there's the dog. The lonely dog. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my. So, I'm going to set that there. So let's see. This stuff smells like eggs. Like straight up rotten eggs, like pit bull fart. It smells bad. It's super stinky. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna dunk. Well, let's try this. Look how bad this one is. This is the one I just hauled. So I'm gonna dunk the towel in, squeeze out the excess. Okay. And we are going to wrap this little, we're going to wrap the top of this little dish in there and let it set. Oh, it stinks. Once it makes connection with the metal, it smells so bad. So I'm just pressing it in, make sure I get it in all the grooves. And if it works, then we... We'll do both sides. I didn't want to use this stuff because it stinks so bad. So I went online to see what else I could use. And I heard that ketchup might do the trick. So I put ketchup on a little spot on one of these just to see. And if you see that, you can see a perfect circle where the ketchup's at for like 45 minutes. But that's all it did. I'm like, I'm not going to waste my ketchup or my time. So I will use this stinky stuff. And I can already tell, guys. Wow. Y'all might even be able to tell, look, it's already coming clean. I'm going to let it sit for a while. Wow. Yeah, the grooves and the indentation and all. Oh, see, I have no patience. Look, guys, it's coming clean. The towel dunked in, it worked. It's just the roses along here definitely need a good soak. What is that green stuff? What does that mean? That green stuff in there that it's plated, that it's gross, that I've ruined it. What does that mean, guys? Look at that. A little elbow grease. Right before our eyes. We have silk. I mean, I may not make it out here all day, all, however long it takes for two reasons. The bugs are getting on my nerves. And uh, it stinks, a couple of reasons. And um, I have food on the stove. I got the craving for uh, meatballs and, ooh, look at all that sweat. I'm sorry, I'm gross. Um, I got the craving for meatballs and mashed potatoes and green beans with onion. So let me wrap one of these goblets in a soaked towel just because I am so eager to see what will happen. Let me get it all around. This will be a good after work project. Something for me to do. I can tell already it is immediately taking that gunk off. Look, y'all can tell. It's immediate. I went one more towel with solution and I'm going to soak my other goblet. And then I'm going to go in, take a shower while everything is on a slow simmer in the kitchen. 
then I'm going to settle myself down to eat. I've been wanting to watch Dirty Dancing. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to do. But anywho, hope this wasn't too boring. But some of y'all were really curious as to whether this was going to work, and so was I. And it does look like it is. So yay! <sighs> Stink though. Wow, it is immediate. As soon as you put it on there, it starts taking that tarnish away. But anywho, I'm going to let these sit out here while maybe it'll kill some friggin' mosquitoes. Nasty things. But, uh, I need a sip of water, but I don't want to touch my cup. Ooh. Ooh, guys. Yeah. What's been soaking the longest? This? Wow. You guys. Look. Again, I don't know if this is sterling or if this is plated. I've done a little bit of research. Some says sterling, some says plated. But I don't care. It's pretty. It's nice to see something gross shine up to this loveliness. Definitely got to get the inside clean. But look at that. That is so pretty. It kind of has a haze on it. Does anybody know what that's about? Does that mean I've damaged it with this horrible solution? Does it mean that it's, um, does that mean it's, uh, plated and not real silver? Because I've seen even fake silver look way shinier than this. This kind of has a yellow hue to it. I'll rinse it off here in just a little bit. Maybe I've left it on too long, but this is super cool. It's the only black left. And now you can see the EPNS Pool Silver Company, Taunton, Massachusetts, 762. Okay, let me rinse these off and fight with these mosquitoes a little bit longer. And then at the end, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the final result. I do believe all of this stuff is plated because there looks to be some tarnish worse than this one. Kind of greenish looking stuff in there. See that? And um, the plating looks like it really came off of this and off of around a lot of the little rows. It's not even a rose or well, floral motif. It looks like the plating has come off. The back is still really, really pretty, but a lot of the plating has come off of this. So somebody used this little candy dish lovingly. Uh, the little bell cleaned up real good. I want to polish it some because it has that kind of funky hue left on it. But uh, that's really cute. Um, so, I, of course, I can't use them. But they are pretty, and it was just, I want to rub them with a little buffer cloth just to shine them up. But I hear my meatballs back there hissing. I just wanted to show you guys a quick overview of how clean they came out. Okay, for those of you interested in my quick din din, I just have some frozen meatballs. I think they're the Armor brand, the cheapest that I can find. Not because I want the cheapest, but because these Armor are actually pretty good. All I do is I cook them with a little bit of water from frozen. And I usually use a small can of the Rotel, the tomato with the green chilies. But I don't have that, so I'm going to put in a little paste just for a kick of, of spice, okay? And then I'm going to pour in a whole can of tomato sauce. And a half a can of water, getting all that tomato sauce yumminess out of there. And all I do is let them cook. I let them simmer for about 20, 30 minutes, and it's a quick, yummy little meal that little dude won't eat, so I'm going to eat it <laughs> while he's at his Pawpaw's house. So I'm going to let that simmer. Ooh, I don't have my thingy. I got my green beans back here simmering with salt, pepper, onion, and uh, margarine, and I have my taters on... Um, 
on a medium because I'm going to go jump in the shower. This way, by the time I come out, the potatoes will be ready to mash, the beans are ready, and these will be ready to chow down. So, <sighs> so my lovelies, until my next go around, I thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Thank y'all for hanging out with me any day. Any day y'all hang out with me. I appreciate it. I look so forward to the comments just to see my tried and trues and any new little faces that pop up. Man, them stairs are killing me. Oh, gotta get my earrings out. But uh, thanks for hanging out with me today. I know it was random. Not anything at all like what y'all are used to getting from me, but I am really liking sharing my days with y'all. So, oh, I'm tilting y'all. To my next go around. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't let a diamond fall in the toilet. Okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I love y'all bunches. Bye. One from the three. I was petrified. Thinking I could never live without you by my side. But then I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. And I learned how to get.